Hey guys, Ron here, and today I brought on various Pokemon experts for a friendly trivia competition. Uh, the thing is, each team will get a completely separate set of questions. On one team, we have Loxan and I, uh, who are known for Pokemon Origins and general Pokemon facts content, but we know nothing about competitive Pokemon battling. Is that right, Loxan? <laughs> oh, completely. <laughs> Uh, so therefore, we will be asked by the other team uh, Pokemon battling questions. Uh, so questions that we generally aren't familiar with, but we may be asked. We may know through osmosis, through the community. And on the other team, we have Wolfie VGC and PokeMD, experts in the metagame and in Wolf Wolf's case, <laughs> world champion. But they know relatively nothing about Pokemon origins and lore and stuff like that. So Loxton and I are going to ask them Pokemon trivia questions. And the whole point is to show that, you know, there are multiple valid ways of gaining knowledge about Pokemon. So, are, is the other team ready? You guys ready? Yeah, yeah ready. I feel good. <laughs> I feel good that we're going to lose. I can't wait. Oh, for 100%. 100%. Oh, we'll and, we're, and we're on Ron's channel, too. So, first off, they're going to be like, hey, why are there two Rons? But secondly, they're going to be like... <laughs> yeah, I was... I couldn't tell... Okay, I thought it was just me. I was like, these guys no, sound I, the same. No, I told you, we sound similar. Hey, guys, <laughs> Ron here. Like, I can sound, I can sound <laughs> just like him crazy. if I want. Oh, wow, you really do. Yeah, yeah, I can. Yeah, but I but literally don't see it, and it's crazy. I, yeah, I only see it if I raise my voice a certain pitch. Like, mm -hmm. a legitimate one, but... It's, gonna, it's crazy like because we, we have Ron's fan base, who's gonna the primary uh, the primary fan base that's gonna be watching this. Gonna be like, oh my god, I can't believe they didn't know that the leg of Umbreon symbolized <laughs> death in Japan. Like, oh boy, bad. it's gonna happen. But in my normal just videos, like when I'm making like, a, like let's say I'm drawing a Pokemon or something, I have to like create like stats for it or something. I will constantly say like uh, get like comments of, like you know nothing about like stats distribution <laughs> and like abilities. You shouldn't have given that Pokemon that ability, or it gets annoying. <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> So we'll have both both of the both parts of the community in my comment section, hopefully. Um, in your defense, I love the stats you come up with and the abilities. Oh, and really? You Thank usually, you. yeah, you usually run them by people too, so it's like. Yeah. Sometimes I'll play like a battle against like a, a Poketuber, and I never won, ever. Same. <laughs> um, so I'm definitely in, in in terms of Poketubers, I know the least about competitive. But maybe I, since I'm still like a Poketuber, I know more than the average mm -hmm. fan about competitive. We should battle know. each other to figure out the biggest loser. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, Lox and I prepared separate questions. I'll go first. I'll ask my first question. Okay, you guys ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This one. Yeah, this one's. Uh, this one's medium. What is the name origin of Type Null's evolution? <sighs> you guys can discuss the monsters. <laughs> okay, so it's it's a valley, right? So. Yeah, or, or if you're watching the anime, Silverlie. Silverlie. Yeah. Well, its ability is the Arceus system. That part. That one's easy. Yeah. Arceus system. Yeah. Yep, Sil yep, yep. Silverlie. I, I, so I told like, you I this mean, was a good one, right, Loxton? <laughs> yeah, I'm actually surprised. So the, na the name origin of it, right? Like, does Sil mean anything? Uh, what? <laughs> does, Are you asking me? Yeah, I'm asking you. Yeah, it's Silver Valley. It's like from the Valley of Silver. What do you want me to say? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, let's think. Is there any other Sil Pokemon? Like, there's Sylveon, but it's spelled differently. Oh, Dude, false. you just want to say you just want to say Valley and just like... Oh, wait, no, Sil Valley. Uh, I feel like we should be able to do this. It ties up with the fact that it can be any type. It's lab created. Silicon? Silicon? Oh, Silicon Valley? Agree? Uh, I, uh, I mean, I, th I think Silicon is decent. I don't know if Silicon Valley is it. Right, well, hard agree, hard agree. Okay, uh, we're logging in Silicon Valley. <laughs> I'm glad you did, because that is a common misconception. <laughs> so, yeah, is unfortunately you guys are wrong. But, um, oh, this is perfect. Because, okay, so to know the origin, you'd have to pronounce it correctly. <laughs> Uh, oh, it's not a strength. Silvalli. Um, it was named by Gladion. This is straight from the game. It even says in the game, Gladion named it because it was his silver ally. That's so dumb. He had his type null. He I, had his type null. What, <laughs> what do you type mean null, he named it? Type null was the Aether Foundation's name for the Pokemon, but then it evolved. Ah, ah, that's so dumb. Silver app. I press A when I'm playing through the game. I'm yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm streaming, and I'm streaming, streaming live. <laughs> and I'm streaming live. But it's like, definitely yeah. more fair, fair, fair than like a, a etymology that you have to like research and like find from like Japan or something. Like but normally, yeah, like yeah, the yeah, etymology no, makes no. is like is like some it's like it's like something kind of cool. Like you you hear about it, and you go like <laughs> ah, like okay, I get it. But this one, like uh, -uh. I mean, Silver Ally. Honestly, what of you were very close. Like. You know what? Silver Ally, Silicon Valley. Yeah, I you definitely. Close. You were the closest. Yeah. Uh, you were the closest. Uh, I think this is a medium one as well. So yeah, I'm good. going to give you uh, this too. Um, and this pertains to doubles as well as singles. Uh, what is one way to ignore Mimikyu's disguise ability and deal damage regardless? If you played through the games, you should be able to maybe know this. 
Okay, so locks, and the first thing I'm thinking is weather, but I don't know if weather. Sur oh wait, something that uh, an ability that that allows you to over. I'm trying to remember the name of that ability. Well, so mold breaker, I'm assuming. Mold yeah. breaker allows you to. Yeah, is that the answer? Mold That's breaker correct. is one of the answers. Correct. Yeah. yeah. We also would have accepted photon geyser, sun steel strike, like attacks, as they actually go through it as well. Yeah, there's a couple of attacks Doesn't, that ignore um, abilities, and also the new Gigantamax form, so the starter Pokemon is another one. Like, yeah, uh, that's Rotom, what I was thinking. Cinderace and uh, Inteleon, they all ignore it. But it's cool that we're actually learning from each other. I didn't, I forgot that yeah. was a, a cool, like, just side effect of this video. <laughs> yeah, I like, I like talking. <laughs> and I get to do this, yeah, yeah. Loxon, you want to ask them a question? Sure, here's one that I would deem easy. Easy, anyway. Why does Remoraid evolve into Octillery? I mean, I mean, why does anything evolve? What is the inspiration decided. that led to that oh, evolution? God. Well, Remoraid's a gun. Octillery is a tank. It's just, uh, it's, it's more um, artillery. So it's like the advance of guns, right? Like more of it, right? Wolf, or am I on the it's, wrong track here? <laughs> like, no, I mean, your guess is as good as mine. Like, I, when I think of Remoraid, I think, why is it on? Like, why is it hanging out on Mantine? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm thinking about that too. Yeah, yeah, that's, um, a, that's a separate <laughs> answer, honestly. <laughs> um, but it's, I feel like their question is probably asking, like, why do they take a little fish and turn it into octopus? Um, Loxin, I mean, you want to. I think they got it already. It you is got it, it's yeah. because it's from a gun to an artillery cannon. Yeah, Remoraid yeah, is inspired man. by a Remington revolver. Oh, wow! Good wow. job, Joey. Very nice. So we're on the you. board. We Very are good. on the board. That's that's. We're fifty fifty, man. That's good. Yeah, that's pretty. That's that's pretty good. Yeah, I like I, to I, walk I, away that's, with. That's I like deep. to walk away with this money right now. Like <laughs> Oh, true. Okay, I'll ask one. Um, ooh, maybe a harder one. Um, who's the only player to have won the world championships more than once? <clears throat> oh, that's actually. I never considered a question like that, but that's a that's not a bad one. Thank you. Okay, I can only like think of like two players, like even champions at all, off the mm -hmm. bat, which is you and Ray. Mm -hmm. I mean, could I, I guess like it, a region that they're from. <laughs> well, it could. It, it probably. It may not even be an American or anything. It's true. It's For some true. reason, like an Israeli name is popping into my head. I'm not sure though. I only. I would have remembered an Israeli uh, becoming like top four. Um, if I can't think of anything, I mean, if you, yeah, maybe you can think of it. If anything, I'm just gonna say Ray Rizzo, but I don't think that's the. I don't think that makes sense. Yeah, I have no idea. Let me know when you wanna when you wanna lock in. You know, like. 10 I'm more gonna seconds. lock in Ray Rizzo since we can't have anything else. That's correct. <laughs> that Ray is correct. Oh! Yeah, really. He's won three won times. Three times. Nice. Yeah. Ten, eleven. What are the odds? Yeah, what good, good job. Oh, well, I guess there's a reason we I remember. It. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like how you said, but I don't think that's it. Like just <laughs> disrespecting Ray Rizzo. <laughs> I feel like he would have been like more. Is he active? Like would be no. Like he because he won. The thing is that he won in the early years of EGC and he, in 2010, 2011, 2012, and then yeah, that's why I thought it was like a harder question. Like if he if he won the last three years, I would have thought that would like be an easy yeah. question. But yeah. since it was like a long time ago and he hasn't been super active since then, like aside from a couple appearances. Yeah, yeah. like in 2016, that's about it. Like I actually played him at a, a, a regional too. Yeah, he played like a little bit in 14, but other than that, like he, he like comes back for like two months every once in a while and then like disappears again. <laughs> He's like, wait, I already won this three times. I mean, <laughs> we go back to real life. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, so now let me ask you guys a medium easy question. Why does Masquerade have Intimidate? Oh, it's because it, it looks like one of those like like the butterflies with the faces on it. You know, like the butterflies with that, or like, or like, yeah. they're, or like maybe it's like a moth. It helps like them scare. It helps them scare off predators. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like that way the birds are scared because it looks like angry face. Awesome. Yep. Correct. Also, it's like uh, the pattern on its face. Also, like maybe it's like a mouth. Oh Ooh. yeah. It's like Arbok, but bug for me. All right, my turn. Uh, so that wasn't too too hard. Uh, this is a really. I'll, I'll kind of match that with this. What is the max EV investment you can have total? Effort values, EVs. I want to say 255, I but I don't think that's too, right. Uh, total as in overall, not just one stack. Oh, that's true. Oh, okay, so then... Okay, so I'm going to say 255 plus 255 plus 2. Which is math. I'm not doing the math for you. you got to give us a number. <laughs> Am I allowed to use a calculator? Yeah, go for it. Uh, well, if you could easily do 255 plus 255 plus 2. I mean, if that's what they want to lock in, yeah, sure. Yeah, that looks like a right number. I got 512, and that looks like a number I memorized somehow. Uh, lock yeah, that, lock that sounds good to me. So, 
That's five, real close. Yeah, it's very close. Uh, five ten. We also would have accepted five oh eight. Yeah, I believe as well. Like I, I would have been fine with five oh eight as well because two fifty two, two fifty two, and four. But also two fifty five, two fifty five. Technically. Oh. Uh, basically, the way that it works is that you can have the most EVs you that will like do something for you in any one given stat is two hundred fifty two. Um, but you can technically put up to two hundred fifty five in, and, and you'll just waste three EVs. So yes. the most like if you wanted to only invest in two stats, like in a Pokemon like Shedinja, where you really only need to invest in two, and the rest don't matter. You can do. 255, 255, but kind of the default spread is 252 in one stat, 252 in another stat, and that leaves four left over for a total of 508, and then two that don't you can't get any value out of. Learning. Um, you were so close. That no, yeah. you, said, you said 255 in one stat. Like, yeah, I was like, awesome. Bro. <laughs> like, like I, I, give you half, I would give you half points for that one. Like, no, I feel no, like no, okay, that makes sense because like I would have had to like I just didn't pay attention enough, so it's like. <laughs> if you showed your work on the test, I would have given you a good job there. At least. Good, I'm like, that, yeah, I would have given you. I would have. I would have like you know like when you like you do all the hard math and then you get to like two plus three and you put six like yeah. and then yeah. say, like, you lose <laughs> a point because the math is wrong but like you still like you still pretty much get it because you showed your work like I'd give you that yeah. that great. Locked in. So the easiest of the hard questions. Why is Alolan Executor Dragon type? Uh, isn't it the 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 dragon fruits? Aren't they? Isn't that what they're called? Uh, yeah, you know, I'm a bit of an executor ex expert. Yeah. Um, <laughs> wait, I thought it was because it was like palm trees in Alola. Yeah, but why is oh, the dragon? Wait, are we? Are we? Wait. Oh, are, is it like the inspiration behind it, or is it like no. the, the fact? Yeah. Why would Wha Why would Game Freak decide to give? Oh, okay, because like, executor. I know the the, dragon yeah, the lore in the game was that the sun shines so bright that that boy stretched his neck or something like that. Exactly. But, but uh, I'm pretty <laughs> sure there's a, a, a tree that's like dragon something, or there's like a dragon fruit wolf. I know it's one of those. I'm pretty... I know reading about... You should know this. You've posted so many stuff on Alone in the Executive. I actually don't know anything about Executive. <laughs> <laughs> those um, are two separate answers, by the way. You're going to have to give yeah, them... Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay, that means it's one of them, Joey. Uh, so we're on the right track. It, it, it's okay, definitely, I it's definitely a dragon tree or dragon uh, fruit. I, I think the tree makes more sense, though, right? Because... I'd rather I go with the tree, because Executor's right, fruit is its coconut heads, and I don't want to eat those. Those are not very dry. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Especially not the sad one, they're probably yeah. sour. <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah, I guess we go with, like, the dra it's, there's a dragon Based on a tree, tree that has dragon in yeah. its name. What do you think? Do you think you should accept we that? We should accept it. It's, it's, okay. It's because, uh, there is a genus of palm trees called the Dracania genus, and also, there are mythical Hawaiian dragons that have the power to shapeshift into trees. Wow, that cool. is really cool. That's that awesome. so cool to learn. Yeah. I learned something about one of my favorite Pokemon. Okay, this one is, I think, not too hard. Um, what needs to happen for Fake Out to work? Like, what is the condition for the move to not fail? The, the opponent has to be preparing an attack? Or, no, that's Sucker Punch. Oh, that's, that's, yeah. That's, yeah. Okay, so... I definitely know that fake out, like you, ha you, you can only use it like the first turn. But I don't know if it's like the first is that, turn. Well, I, I was just about to say, is I think it's the first turn that the Pokemon's out in battle. But that might be astonish. No, astonish you can use it all the time. But the question is, is it the first turn in battle or the first turn like that it's been switched out? You know. I think it's the first turn that the Pokemon has been put out. That makes sense. That makes sense. That's correct. That's the correct answer. Yep. yep awesome. That, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna let you like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't, don't, yeah don't, don't, make the, don't make them fight it until yeah. they're like, wait, maybe it's the last yeah. turn. <laughs> no. Yeah. It's, it's the first part. It's like. Uh, so it's not the first turn of the battle, but it's the first turn a Pokemon has been out on the field. So you cool. can use it multiple times in the battle mm -hmm. if you switch in and out, for example. All right. Uh, I'll ask you guys a hard question. You guys deserve it. Um, <laughs> oh no. All right, Joe. You ready to carry? Yeah. What is the concept behind Orbeetle's family? Orbeetle has a family. <laughs> it's it's yeah. bioluminescent bugs. Oh no, wait, UFO bug. Wait, okay. It's, what's the base? What's the babby for me called? It's Dotler is the middle one, and then what's the little one called? Big Dotler. Oh, is it Blip Bug? Wait, does Blip Bug evolve into Dotler? Yeah, it does. It does. Oh, wait, it's it like lightning it's bugs. Blip, it's Blip Bug. Yeah. Uh, is it ladybugs? I mean, uh, it looks like a giant ladybug, right? I mean, the the big for me is ladybug. The, that's Are the there ladybugs it's in It's not space? gonna be- I'm not gonna accept ladybug. That's the animal that they're based on, not the concept. Okay, oh, 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 oh So okay. it's abduction ladybug? Wait, is- does, did you have to make form? Is that part of the family, or is that like a cousin? Like, are we talking like direct family, or like- G-Max is a father. So okay, it, okay. It, it counts. Okay, okay, G-Max is- okay, so it's- it's abduction ladybug- Well, okay, technically the G-Max form is based on aliens and crop circles. But don't just think about just the G-Max. It has yeah. to be the entire family. 
So well, if we're talking about glow, if we're talking like about like bugs, bugs or like bacteria or whatever in space, isn't there something like that starts with a T that like lives in space and lives anywhere? I forgot what it's called. But, Teresa. But that's definitely uh, the what? What? Yeah, yeah. You there know what I'm talking about, but I don't think it's that. I don't think that's what we're on the road. For. I, I think uh, that we're space is. A, I think space is a, is a curveball. I think we have to think about just a. It's like a, so. It's a ladybug. It's a psychic bug type. That's a ladybug that glows. Is there like any kind of ladybug that glows? Joey, I don't know anything. Dotler and blip bug. It's well, like it's blinking bug. Blinking bug and yeah, yeah, dotling lur. <laughs> Let's go <with> blinking bug. <laughs> I don't think that's right. It, uh, it's this tough. I have no dot. Idea. Dot is like. What is a lure? Oh, a lure! Like What's lures a lure? in, like, like lures in something. Maybe it's like, like an. I was like a locking an anglerfish. Okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> but I was close, right? All right. So here's the here's the concept behind the family. You'll love it. Okay. Um, I would I would let Loxon say, but I have it written down right here. <laughs> so um, they're based on scientists and radar. Blipbug is a young nerd named oh, after the blip. the blips on a radar. Blip. Dotler is a scientist that has retreated into the radar dome, like a, a rad dome, and it's named after the dots on a radar and the Doppler effect, which is what, how r radar works. And then Orbital is a big-brained mad scientist. I mean, Orbital could also just be the the, the circle that has the radar and like. It. I mean, it literally physically has it. Yes. But yeah. Wow. It's the actual radar. Yes. Orbital is a radar. I'm hitting them with my question, Wolf. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Honestly, Joey hit him with it. They did it right. I'm gonna hit him with the first. It's a We're science. Tied, like, it's based on a scientist. We're tied. Raider scientist? Him, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna hit him. I'm gonna hit him with the first. Okay, one. Okay, Joey, let loose. I'm gonna hit him with the first one, but then if they do get it or don't get it, I'm still gonna hit them with the second one. Yeah, yeah, still okay, needs, yeah. So I, I, I'm sorry for telling the whole back. Ask them what you ask them what you had for lunch yesterday too. That's the, <laughs> that's the final one. Okay, so so what is Quick Claw's chance of activating in current generations? I use Quick Claw so much, like I love using it. I didn't know the answer to this. Quick. That's what we were arguing about, by the way. Yeah. So <laughs> it's like a normal percentage, right? It's not like. 93 or I mean yeah 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 it's uh well it, it, before it used to be some random percentage but locks it I mean I, I want to say I want to say 15 or something but I have no idea I feel like it's low like super low it's crazy it, it, it happens all the time for me whenever I use one that's why I love using it but like I, yeah I'm thinking like either See, 10 or 15. I hate using it because it never works well obviously it's not gonna work every time but it, <laughs> <laughs> like, but it works like every other battle every third battle which is like really useful um, I mean, if we're using the math, every third battle, that's probably like one out of nine turns, like 10 or 15 percent. <laughs> okay, so Loxon, you're saying 15? I, I would guess 15. Do we know any item, uh, uh, do you know any other item that you think is 15 percent? Uh, not at all. I, it's either t 10 or 20, I've never thought of a 15 percent. 15 just feels right in my heart, even though it probably is wrong. 10 seconds. How are you timing this, Wolf? Like, what, what, just uh, when, I, when, I, when it's been too long, I say 10 seconds. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're allowed to do that. <laughs> I knew, I knew it. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll lock in 15. Okay, so the correct answer was actually 20%. And the funny thing is, you said 1 in 9, which is what Oops. Wolf was arguing. I thought it was, it was 1 in 9. But it was not. Really? It was, it's not. It's 20% chance. Now, keep this number in mind, because there will be a follow-up question later. 1 in 5. That's why I was feeling 5. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, Loxin, ask him a hard question, please. Oh. <laughs> okay, orbital oh. scientist, I've got this. You can't fool me anymore. <laughs> what are three Pokemon named after real people? Oh, uh, Hitmon Lee, Jackie Chan, or um, Hitmon Chan, <laughs> and uh, Kadabra, Uri Geller. <laughs> in, in English, in English. Oh, in English, forget it. Ah, that's cheating. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, but those two for sure. Well, I mean, we could get the cheat one and say Mr. Mime named after Mimes. But That's not a person, <laughs> though. Abominable is named after the Abominable Snowman. Agree? That is a man. That is a man. <laughs> That's a person. That is a man. <laughs> but is it a people? It's not really a people. <laughs> can, you, can, you prove, can you prove it's not a people? <laughs> uh, a people? Wait, Joey, we're wasting our time. Wait. I can't. Uh, <laughs> no, no, fighting I types. Uh, Zacian, Zamazenta. Oh, wait. Swordbird and Shieldbird. Are they named after anybody? Oh, those are Pokemon. Um... <laughs> You think someone's named Sh Shieldbird? Yeah, like uh, the royal. In the game, in the game, yeah. Uh, 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 thinking, thinking, thinking. Oh, Bert and Ernie! Sock and throw a Bert and Ernie! Oh, wait, that's not names. <laughs> Why is it even names? Are, but. Makuhita, Haruma. There's, there's five in total. Only five?! And everybody knows the Hitmons, which is why we did three. That's so unfair! You gave us false hope! Exactly! Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm trying to well, think of Well, there's five, like, confirmed. There's, like, there's more theoretically, but there's five that are confirmed. I named so True. many. I have no idea. I'm, I'm out of ideas. Five. Execute sounds like egg. 
One man great <laughs> egg, egg, egg is person. <sighs> okay, I'm, I'm walking into Silvalia. It's named after the Silver Ally. <laughs> who's, who's a superhero? <laughs> okay. Uh, so there's Hitmon Chan, named after Jackie Chan. Hitmon Lee, named after Bruce Lee. Genghis Khan, named after Genghis ah, Khan. Ah, oh some friend type. Empoleon is named after Napoleon Bonaparte. Oh. And Solgaleo is named after Galileo. Oh my god. I was never getting Golga Solgaleo. I forgot uh, Galileo was real. There's a. Uh, <laughs> uh, Lapras is named after Pierre Simon Laplace. Is that Lapras' uh, uh, Japanese name? Pierre Laplace? <laughs> <laughs> it's the same. <laughs> It's it's Lapras. Oh, um, oh, it's just pronounced it's, different. He, he he was like a scientist that discovered waves or something. He <laughs> <laughs> discovered waves. Just look at the water. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll accept, I'll accept multiple answers for this one because it's not that, not that bad. Um, either tell me what is the lowest numerical priority a move can have, like the lowest the priority list goes, or alternatively, tell me which move has the lowest priority. The name of the move, or the number, or the num the lowest number of priority you can go. Well, Maybe just the name of the move. I'm, pre is I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's one of those moves. I remember something about a move that it, it, its description says that it only works if it goes second, but its priority is so low that like it, it's never not. Like the opposite of extreme speed or something. Um, extreme slow. Well, extreme speed is only uh, plus two actually. Three? Plus two. Oh, only two uh, really. So mm -hmm. the, what's, what is the highest priority? Well, I, okay. So here, I'm thinking about the other answer. So I know, like, I think it's six for like. You know, stat buffs or whatever, but I don't know if it's also for priority. Jeez, I was thinking, I think priority negative three is what I'm thinking in my head, but again, my heart's been wrong before. Well, you may be right because, like, maybe, like, maybe, maybe there's no reason to go all the way down to six priority. Like, what and what? Maybe we have to think of a reason. Why would a move want to be last? What would the condition be? I think revenge is really slow because, like, it's a whole, a whole payback kind of thing. Like Counter is probably really low. Counter and mirror coat. Like, I feel like it's way safer to just say a, a number. <laughs> Probably. Statistically speaking, I did like your negative six. Okay, then I don't think there's a six. If extreme speed is two, how is there a six? Maybe that's maybe there's maybe there is six tiers of it, and so it's plus three minus three. Okay, then the only number we can think of is six. <laughs> so uh, you want to lock it in? Uh, I'm down. I really enjoyed hearing your thought process, and you did think of a couple. You, you asked the right question, um, mm -hmm. which is why would a, why would a move need to be negative priority? And actually, Joey, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the highest it goes is six, right? I think plus six is the highest. Yes, because uh, um, that's moves like protect and max guard. If I'm not mistaken. Helping hand, helping hand, I think is like pretty oh, high yeah, up yeah, there. Yeah, up there as well. Um, I think also dynamaxing counts as yeah, or switching, like right? Well. But yeah, the lowest the lowest priority is not six; it's actually a negative seven. Um, and it there's, is, one, there's one move. Oh. It's one move, and it's, it's Trick Room. And the like reason for that is that ah. Trick Room reverses the speed order. So it's really wonky. If, like, let's say Trick Room was, like, a normal priority move, like, it'd be really wonky. Or, like, if, you know, it's, like, middle of the turn, and then this, the speeds get switched. Um, you know what's annoying? I just saw, like, I just watched some random battle. It wasn't, like, competitive mm -hmm. or anything, but I saw a Pokemon use, like, Trick Room and, like, Dynamaxing. And it went last, mm -hmm. but I assumed it went last because it was uh, a slow a Pokemon. Pokemon. Was a slow exactly. Pokemon. It's, it's actually a hard question because you really would only notice this if either, like, you were familiar with Trick Room, but also it doesn't really come up in singles, because, like, in singles, like, if you're using Trick Room, you wouldn't really notice, because you're using it on a slow Pokemon, like you mentioned, so... Just to add, it actually, you do notice it sometimes in singles, because, uh, it's the only minus seven, uh, seven priority move, but minus six priority moves, like Dragon Tail and Roar, can mm -hmm. actually stop Trick Room from happening, because they're minus six, so, for example, if, uh, if Skarmory uses Whirlwind on a slow king going for Trick Room, that slow king would never have a turn. It'll basically be forced out immediately. Okay, this is a medium one. What do what do the Swords of Justice do? Like, what, what are they? What are they? Like, what's their that's Cabalion, Terrakion, and Frizion? The yeah, like, their, the three what's their lore in the game? Not what they're based on. Not what they're based on. Oh, what do they do? Yeah. Oh god, they leave footprints all around. You have to find them. <laughs> it was so annoying. Actually, I gave up. I didn't they even also know. hate Keldeo for no reason. Like in the oh, they hate Keldeo? I thought they were buddies. I thought Keldeo was like dad and uh, they were like Mr. No, kids. No, Keldeo was like in the beginning. Like, it was like, hey, hey, stay there, little one. Stay there. <laughs> Your sword isn't sharp enough yet. And they had a point. <laughs> uh, I mean, I remember them jumping around, and obviously they came out in black and white. So I mean, yeah, we have five. you know, Russia Ram and uh, and Zekrom. Truth and ideals. Yeah. Aren't they some kind of guardian? Wait, what are the Gen Five Mythicals? Don't they like beat up Victini or something? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they were in the same movie as Victini. <sighs> what do they do? Do they bring balance to the force? Like. <laughs> 
I have no idea. I mean, there's swords of justice. Why can't, up, and then why can't we just they say they bring them. justice? Like when there's chaos. Okay, well, you can't answer the question with the question with the name, like, you know. <laughs> Uh, they probably bring, like, nature balance. They're probably there to balance nature when nature gets out of whack. Wait, K Kiram is the villain, right? Oh, wait, no. Yes, yes, oh, yes, Kiram, Kiram was in the vil villain in the movie. <sighs> Do they unfuse Kiram? Why does Kiram get- why Kiram? I want to fuse Virizion with Drakion. Okay, okay. Well, I think we're on the wrong track with that because they got uh, Joey, because go. of Black and White 2, all right? Like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's got, a sequel. That was different, that was Wait, different. is it weather? Oh, wait, no, Tornados and Thunderous are weather. Oh. It's the, the Swords, Swords of Justice, of justice bro. Like, wait, why can't we just go like they... They, they don't do justice. That's, what? I mean, they, they're, they they're ability... They've justified they his abilities. Uh, Genesect? Wait, Genesect? Do they stop Genesect? They're 100% they base mu musketeers. Or the Three Stooges. Wait, which one is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I thought they were... Uh... They beat okay, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Um... Oh, that was hard. Uh, but I think we got it. Your entire thought process was thinking about the Pokemon that they battle, but... You had to think of outside of the box. The Swords of Justice protect other Pokemon from losing their homes to human expansion and war. Well, that's not working very my, well. I we can catch answer, them. I think my answer would have been okay, Wolf. They, what was your answer? They, they, they fight okay, chaos. Yes. With yeah, Joey, no, well, Joey, no. Joey, you basically were saying the same thing as like they do stuff. Like, no, obviously, they, they do the justice. Swords of justice. The three must Yeah, obviously. You're not people. giving any additional information. If I said what move has the lowest priority, and they said the move with the lowest priority has the lowest priority, I wouldn't have given them credit for it. That's what you're doing. Okay, but they're oh not called God. the Swords of Justice. They're, they are, but they're Kabalion, Terrakion, and, 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 and Virizion. And, and they protect They protect Pokemon from human expansion? Side note, I have a really good Celebi cry. Do you guys want to hear it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What is one way to negate life orb damage? With still having the life orb on you, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. We will not accept not having a life orb. <laughs> <laughs> that's a Joey answer. <laughs> this, I mean, that's a, good, that's a fair one. I can think. I can try to think of By that. By playing with the death orb. Like that. Yeah. By not playing Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably another ability, right? Like, Loxton? Probably. Life. Mm. Well, maybe, okay, maybe ability that doesn't allow, like, any effects from non-damaging moves. But then I feel like people would spam that, no? It can't be like an entire actually, Pokemon actually don't like, even, in every situation. I don't even remember what a Life Orb is. But I feel like it can't be a, just a Pokemon that just Life Orb doesn't work on it, because that wouldn't be fair. Oh, wait! Chedinja, maybe. Ooh. A Pokemon uh, what's uses that, a move what's on your one, own Pokemon. Like Aqua Ring, like it heals you a little bit every turn. That would negate the damage that you take. It like no, balances out. Yeah, negating is different than healing. Okay, sure. Oh, uh, okay. You take no damage, basically, yeah. is what we're saying. That's a good Would you just use protect on yourself? <laughs> no, we're, uh, where you won't accept life orb, moves that yeah. don't activate life orb. They have to. Is it life orb? So just to clarify, gotcha. life orb does damage when if you use a move that will damage the opponent in, in exchange, it will be stronger. In exchange, you'll lose some of your health. That's the full effect of life orb. Like like you you knock mm -hmm. out the opponent and then the battle's over, so you don't take the damage. You actually do still take you damage do. even you if do. you win the yes. battle. You, uh, you, yeah. Oh well, that makes sense. Like a move that just doesn't use any effect of life orb, the positive or the negative. Like Super Fang or Hyper Fang, one of those. It like always does 50% HP. Oh, yeah, maybe. Well, that's a good one. Because boosting it wouldn't do anything, but it is an attack. Uh, and, and the only, yeah, and the way that we're thinking of this, like, you do still get, you get the positive effect of life for it without the negative. Yes. Okay. So, you guys were thinking about moves, you should have been thinking about abilities. You actually said earlier, is there an ability that would just let you have yeah, the positives exactly. without negatives? And no, that would just be broken, but yeah. There's a few. And actually, there's, there's two of them, yeah. yeah. Is, it, is it more than two or just two? Um, well, as far as I remember, there's Sheer Force. So The way that Sheer Force works is it's an ability that says if a move has a secondary effect, like Fire Blast can burn, Thunder can paralyze, yes. right? Yes. Yeah. It, you lose the, any chance of that secondary effect happening in exchange, the move is slightly stronger. So you have like a slightly stronger Fire Blast that will never burn. And But I would assume uh, that way, that wouldn't would work for items only move. Yeah, Correct. you'd be surprised. So, but Life Orb counts as a secondary effect as well. So mm -hmm. it's just like you basically just get the power boost without the recoil because basically. the secondary effect, like basically, if a Pokemon yeah. is holding a Life Orb and uses Fire Blast, like it's like chance to burn and. 100% chance to take recoil, so the, it's like counted as a secondary effect, exactly. which Sheer Force cancels. So some very popular Pokemon that use that are both Needle King and Needle Queen. They use mm -hmm. Sheer Force, Life Orb, like Sludge Wave, Earth Power, Flamethrower, Ice Beam, and they take no recoil, and they have the, the 1.3 times boost from Sheer Force, the 1.3 times boost from Life Orb. The other ability was Magic Guard, which you don't take any, you know, 
damage like that. And um, just to answer your questions from before, Super Fang will still take. That's what I thought. Yeah, percentage. still take recoil damage with. Yes, Super she still Fang, will yeah. take recoil damage. I I saw what you were thinking with Shedinja as well because it only takes damage from moves from super effective damage, but other sources of damage still count, like passive damage. Oh, Shedinja would have died. It would have died. It, oh it, yeah, yeah. Life orb Shedinja. That is that is like, the yeah, true of life. That's the super life <laughs> right there. Like life yeah. is given up when Shedinja. <laughs> <laughs> But isn't it already dead? Wow. <laughs> That's a good point. Is it? Yeah, oh yeah, Ghost Step shouldn't take life orb. Interesting. That's a good concept. Yeah. Yeah, we broke it. Let's not do that. <laughs> Ghost Steps are already broken as it is, right? So, every Generation 8 Pokémon is British in some way, though some are more obvious than others. So what is Berserker doing in the Galar region? Ah, uh, I don't even know what Berserker is. It has a beard. <laughs> Smoking cigars? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> it has like the the beard looks like an attachment. Is it pretending to be Santa Claus? It's British Santa Claus. It has wait a sec, spirit. wait a second, wait a second. So I don't know if this is British or whatever, because you know, forgive me. But Berserker is like a hundred percent a Viking. Like a hundred percent. It has the cap, it has the oh, horns, it has the Oh, you're right. It's a hundred percent a Viking. There's like no way. I just saw the but, SpongeBob episode recently too with the Viking. It's a hundred percent a Viking. So it's a Viking. Is it is it pillaging? It's a Galarian Viking. I don't know what that means, but I feel like that's. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't I like know. it. We've got some information to work with. Vikings are from what Norway or whatever, but maybe there yeah, there was some from yeah. British Britain as well. Like I don't know. I, I, I mean, they I, sailed around. Like they could have gone. Yeah, to they definitely the could have. I mean, it's a gentrified Viking. Like it's. <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> so so is it? But what is it doing in England? Is it's it a Viking cat. It was actually like a a Halloween oh. costume and. <laughs> Okay, you want to lock in the the answer is I, I, what I mean, is Berserker doing in England? It's Viking. And the answer up, that we're giving is it's, it's a Viking. It it's being a well, Viking. They said it was based on. They said it was just based on something. So, so like, why is it being a Viking in, in England? Why why is the region not based in Scandinavia if it's just being a Viking? I mean, Fifteen. They, they just said it's just based on something in, in Britain. It's based on like the Vikings that attacked. Yeah, the British Vikings that attacked, that attacked the British back in fourteen ninety two. Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> All right, uh, you want to lock in that it's Viking? I think it's a Viking. Or, maybe, maybe got like lost or whatever when they were. It's a lost Viking. Or... All right. All right. So what's the locked in answer? Viking. Viking. The answer is Just... Viking. <laughs> Just Viking. I'll I'll go I'll go ahead and accept that because the last time you locked in your answer, which was the third time you locked in your answer, was uh, was right. It's it's a Viking pillaging. Um, <laughs> what? It was right. Vikings, Vikings pillaged. Great Britain so much so that That's their like the language their language mixed modern English is yes. very very <laughs> thanks to, to their language I said oh. yes and you were trying to say a different question than what they asked oh okay okay okay, okay. this is good lore and I was about to google like after like it's a hundred percent I got hold on let me look at Berserker yeah good job that was all yeah. you that was all you good absolutely job. a Viking there's like nothing else there Berserker images yeah I'm, okay but to be fair Orbital was a scientist who likes radar so like you can't blame us too much for like reading into <laughs> Dude, look, things look at this image that someone drew of Berserker holding a knife like this is a that's Viking. That's the official art. Dude. That's the official. That's the official. Art. That's that's the official hand, art. It has a knife. Why doesn't it have knife attack as one of its attacks? Then? Stabby. Well, <laughs> the fun thing with that also is the Vikings uh, invented a rudimentary form of steel way before anywhere oh. anyone else did. Good job, Vikings. What if what? So what is the secondary effect that rock slide can cause? Flinch. That's that correct. makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't even give them an answer to that. <laughs> I'm try, like, <laughs> try and like mix them up. Like, nah, no, 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 you're correct. right. <laughs> that's correct. I'll give you a normal heart. What animal is Zigzagoon? Bad. It's, is it Badger, Joey? Is it Zebra Badger? I mean... <laughs> is that a legitimate animal? <laughs> yeah, the Zebra Badger. Isn't Zigzagoon a raccoon? Oh, Zigzagoon raccoon. Okay, okay, okay. Is it? A, but it's like a fox raccoon, right? Wait, are we talking about Galarian Zigzagoon or regular Zigzagoon? Regular Regular? Zigzag regular? regular. regular Zigzagoon is definitely a raccoon. It has the mask on it, like a bandit Pokemon. It has to be a raccoon, right? I mean, okay. Works for me. I mean, I was going to say panda, so yeah, we're good. Unfortunately, it is not. <gasps> is it? What is Zig Zagoon? It's a tanuki, a raccoon dog. Ah, I knew it was a raccoon. I said raccoon fox. I said raccoon fox, right? That is I was, on, I was on the right that's track. Thing. But it is it is technically a completely different species. That's 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 true. And when I look at this, it says raccoon uh, Zig Zagoon is a badger. So you were even more correct. Uh, well, Linoon is a badger. Like the the rest of them are badgers. <laughs> like, I, have, I apparently have hidden Zig Zagoon knowledge. Well, I can give it with a semi hard because they hit us with okay. a semi hard one. Just one, to be clear. So if a Pokemon is minus one, what percentage of its original stat is that at? Wow. I feel like it's not a ton. 
Well, yeah, because, like, for example, even if it was minus six, it wouldn't be the entire stat, you know? <laughs> well, the question- It might be as- it might be as simple as it'd be 90% as strong. Like, each- each drop is 10%. It might be that simple. Maybe it's not, though. We have to think, like, we've used moves before. When we were growled or something, how much did our- how much less did our attack do? All I see is the bar, I don't look at the numbers. Well, like, for example, I feel like 90%, if it was just 90%, it would be barely a difference in, like, but I remember after I'm hit with a, a move like Growl, it does, I, it's a noticeable difference in my next attack. Maybe it's 20% then. 20% sounds... It might be, it, it might be 15, 20%, and then it's 15, 20% of that each, each time it goes down, so it's like the opposite of exponential. Yeah. The move would be 80% as strong as it was previously. So the correct answer is 66%. So the way that stats work, except for accuracy and evasion, is you start out with a stat as your fraction is 2 over 2, so that's like just a 1 times multiplier. Every time a stat is dropped, you add 1 to the bottom, and every time a stat is raised, you add 1 to the top. So adding 1 to the bottom on your 2 out of 2 uh, multiplier is 2, 2 out of 3, which is 66%. Um, but a plus 1 is you add 1 to the top of your 2 out of 2. Um, so it's 3 over 2 or 1.5 times. Yeah. But it, it is interesting because you're right in that, like, so, like, the first time you get a stat drop, just, to, like, you lose 50%, but if you lose, or, like, if you lose two stat drops, you're at, um, minus, you're, you know, 2 over 4, so that's 50%, but you don't lose another 50% for the next two, you go down to 2 over 6, mm -hmm. so 1 out of 3. So it's, like, you only, you lose, like, basically 50% for the first two, but then only, what, like, 17% mm -hmm. for, the, for the second two? It's a hard, it, it was. It's a hard question. If you guess, yeah. Too much. yeah, I kind of wish the game. Sixty six like, seems like so much. Yeah, it, it does mm. seem like a lot. I, but I you don't lose sixty six percent. You lose thirty three. Like exactly. Yeah. Instead of showing you little crystals that say, "Oh, this is plus one. Oh, this is plus two. But I mean, mm -hmm. like in, in competitive. Oh, obviously. I'm so stupid. I've played what's it called? Sh showdown. I feel like I've seen the number sixty six before. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, give him a hard one, Loxton. <laughs> oh. Give him a hard one. <laughs> we but not impossible. Not impossible, dude. So, um, they get a lot of flack in the West, so why are there so many Pokémon based on objects? Because... Because they don't Japan. care about the West, man. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> <laughs> um... I mean... I feel like the key word there is in the West. Yes. Right, Joey? Yes. So, maybe it's like more of a... Maybe it's like talking about how Japanese culture like tends to personify like objects, right? Isn't that like a thing? Like, in Japan, all the cities have different mascots, right? Like for tourism purposes, you know what I'm talking about. I'm going. I've watched anime, and uh, <laughs> I've seen what you were discussing. I almost want to be like because they can. Like, <laughs> well, I mean, I guess it's just that. Like, it's. I guess the underlying thing is that like either it's not an issue for people who aren't, you know, um, like maybe people aren't as bothered by it, but it's an actual answer. It's not like because they like it no, or they don't. <laughs> I wonder if it has something to do with like spirits. Nah. Spirits, I think spirits is a uh, is a good one as well. Like, um, like spirits possessing like onis objects. and like things like that. Yeah. Uh, and like they do, but like I, I've definitely seen stuff where like they do believe like like Rotom for instance, like things yeah, got haunted similar. and stuff like. But that's that. more like ghost type specifically rather than like like Vanillix isn't like a spirit, you know. Although I feel like a lot of things are like yeah, like like a, like an ice spirit. You yeah, know? there's like an ice spirit. There's like a fox spirit. There's a fire spirit. I feel like it might have to do with that as well. Uh, and the, the problem objects. is, spirit is very vague in Japanese. I feel like it's it's that Japan maybe has more of a history with the idea of um, animate animate objects. Um, I, I'm wondering what you think. Okay, so that I feel is, like they got they got all the pieces, but they out. never answered it. They they never put them together. But every here's piece the reason was why there. too, because. The answer in the end was because of Japanese culture, <laughs> but that could be for yeah. any Pokemon. Um, so, more specifically, uh, it is because Japanese folklore has a lot of Sukomagami, which is when a tool or object gains a kami or spirit after a hundred years passed down through generations, the tool or object will come to life. And that's also why uh, Voltorb is number 100, because it's a Pokeball after a hundred years. So you know. ah, That's really cool. You know, I think I'm proud of our answer, Joey. I, I think, do. I, I do. Think I think we got a lot I of think, stuff there. I think I'd accept it. They got all the pieces. We didn't know about the specific. We, we did say I, because I, they're, I, I, I did say because they're Japanese at a point. I, I did say like <laughs> because of where they yeah. are. Like, I, did say, I understand if you don't want to accept your answer, <laughs> yeah. but independent of, of your of, of your decision, I'm happy with how we yeah. answered. Yeah. 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 Loxton wrote, wrote that question, and in his explanation, he said the word spirit. I'll give it to you guys. Yeah. Yeah, I'd give it to him too. 
No, I think this. I think I think this one's pretty 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 easy. It's like tough because with a lot of these, it's like you know it or you don't. You know. Yeah. Um. But okay, how many turns does Trick Room last? Naturally, I always go to five, but like it could be four. I want to say three to five, but I think that's just that's just weather. Hmm. I would what consider like a move, moves? like Trick Room. Is is it like a terrain move? It's again. I feel like yeah, it is separate to terrain move. It's not a terrain. It, it, like uh, uh, moves that affect terrains and abilities that affect terrains don't have anything to do with Trick Room. I know that. I mean, I guess. Right, so from the test qu answer that we that that Wolf gave me, like when we were organizing this, he gave me Tailwind, and that was four, I believe. So I know that Tailwind is four, but again, Tailwind is different. I don't know. Tailwind is similar to Trick Room. It's like the opposite of Trick. Ah, oh, it's not the opposite of Trick Room, but you know what I mean. It increases four, speed. Four and five both sound good to me. It might even be both, because some it, of them, yeah, some of them true. are ranges. But five just seems like a normal number. So that is. True. I would say four only because I know that's not weather, and I feel like weather is five. It just doesn't seem right. But that like, I. I it's a we know it or we don't. I was really worried that Tailwind was going to mess you up. Tailwind is kind of like the exception, where Trick Room is five, weather is five, terrain is five, everything oh. is five, except for Tailwind. You're not wrong, though, with things being four or five, like things like Fire Spin and Whirlpool, though. Uh, and then, Well, it, it's funny, because the turn you said it actually counts yeah, as a turn. Exactly. So, like, so you only actually get to use it for four turns, yeah. but it's technically up for five. Exactly. Like, if you click on the menu and it says Trick Room, like, three out of five, it will, it's, you know, three out of five, not, you know, even on the first turn, it says you have four turns left, you know, so, yeah. I like the uh, I love the logic there though. Like it was mm -hmm. like really, really, really close slash spot on. So should I give him the hardest one we have? What is the symbol on uh, Superior's body? Snake. Wait, Superior's a symbol. Joey, I can't see anything. Like my <laughs> eyes don't work. I can't. I don't know what my po Pokemon look like. So this one's on you. I think it's the Mega Evolution symbol though. Is it the Mega Evolution symbol in Gen Five? No, there's is no it way. Gen 5? <laughs> Joey, I literally don't know what Pokemon look like. Like I, I can't picture Superior in my head. It's a snake. I know its thing is. Wait, uh, it's royal. It's royal. It's royal. Yeah, yeah, it's like the, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm pretty sure. Like I'm looking at it in my head. I know. That's it, nice. You know how I have the the ears are like like yellow, like yellow on the, the inside. ears. They're not ears, but yeah. <laughs> no, it does have ears. I believe you. I just didn't. I was just surprised. Is this period just a banana? <laughs> oh, I love bananas. It's like a green banana, bro. If, so let's be playing If like you bananas. want, it could be a banana. It has something to do with royalty. It's gonna be like some like the royal crest of the family of Scotland from 1712 or something. <laughs> the Earl of Bananas. Oh yes, dude! Yes, you got it. Yes, do you want to lock it in? No, I do not want to lock it in. I it do. Like, I feel really good about like the hooks. Earl of Bananas. I remember it looks like hooks, dude. Historical. What region is Gen Five based on? Unova. What region is it based on? Wait, what that region? I remember is Gen in Gen Five. 5 oh, you I really don't know what Unova is based on? You want me to tell you? Because I mean. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like I want to know. Actually, Iceland? I'll tell you after, never mind, because that'll affect your answer. I know it has yellow stuff on it. The symbol, symbol, I think it's Superman. I think it it's has It's not Superman. As, as for Superior, it's for Superman. I think it's either Superman or the Earl of Bananas. It has to be royalty. It has to be like some royal crest, like just logically. And by logically, I mean I'm guessing in, in total darkness. <laughs> I can't, I don't even know what it looks like, and I don't know what symbol we're talking about, nor do I know where in the body it is. It looks like is. bananas, I remember, I have superior in my head, like, I'm staring okay, at it. Okay, let's, let's lock in Earl of Bananas. <laughs> That's not, why would the crest symbol be Earl of Bananas? Dude, I think it's Earl of Bananas. I, oh, it's got vines. Oh, it's got, like, ivy. This symbol is called a fleur-de-lis. <laughs> uh -huh. Excuse me? I'm taking with my question, Will. <laughs> French royalty. Yeah, if we would have said like French her heraldry. So now Unova is based on it's New York City, America in general, if you want to, you know, really be specific. But like um, each l family of the starters is based on a different country or location. So like Embor line is China, Samurai line is Japan, you know, they're samurais. And then oh. this uh, this one is based on, well, f French aristocracy, but it represents the West too, uh, according to Sugimori. So I'm going to give you, because this is the last one, I'm going to give you two questions and you can answer one of them. Both the ability Quick Draw and the item Quick Claw can stack. What is the percentage that you will move first? If you have both of them. For the record, I didn't know either of these. But I, if you're, I, like, a, if you're a singles me. player and you've used Galarian uh, Slowbro, you'd know this. So that's the first question. The second question is... I hope this one's a real question. What <laughs> items or abilities does Sheer Force negate besides Life Orb? So it's Sheer Force is a move that if you use a move that has a secondary effect, it gets stronger. Exactly. 
And you lose the secondary And you lose too. it. Um, I feel but, like it would negate Toxic Orb? Like the poisoning? No, so it, again, I think the point of Toxic Orb is just to poison yourself. Yeah, so it can affect either an item for your opponent, well, except either an item or any abil- uh, like an ability that it affects from your opponent. But for some reason, I'm just confused. I, mean, I know what Sheer Force does, 100%. Yeah. But I'm, it just the logic is weird. This interaction is weird, yeah, to be fair. Yeah, like, yeah it yeah. is. And just to remind you of the other question, what is the percentage to go first of Quick Claw plus Quick Draw? <laughs> yeah, right, man. <laughs> um, sheer Force. Let's focus on Sheer Force. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> unless, we, unless we can give you a range of numbers yeah. for the first one. Can I give him a hint, Joey? Because this is kind of hard. So the, the trick here is that Sheer Force... Sometimes, like some Pokemon, have items or abilities that activate when they get hit by something. Not like rather than when they um, do something proactive. It's a reactive kind of reaction. And Sheer Force will treat whatever those secondary effects are as an actual effect of the user's move and therefore cancel them. Correct. Um, so Joey's asking, what are some of those secondary? Can you think of anything that that activates? Um, not proactively, but when you get hit with something, when you get hit with an attack, um, because that is something that might be cancelled out by sheer force. Does that make sense? Eject button is for yourself. Oh! A balloon? But that's... Hmm. You guys don't like the other question? <laughs> <laughs> math! Yeah, that one's just math. <laughs> oh! Like a rocky helmet? Well, static or something. Like So maybe... A, oh! Flame body. I mean, since we have no other answer, I'm just gonna say flame body. Joey, I actually don't know, but it should cancel, right? Um, I'm pretty sure it's not. I'm actually looking. Wait, at why? The, I'm actually looking at the list now. So uh, you actually said the answer, well, or at least the answer that I know, which is eject button, yeah, for example. Yeah, did before. Um, but or why a red it, card. How? Why? I, because eject. So like, if you, let's say I switch in my Amoongus into like a Nido King who has uh, sheer force, right? And they go for Earth Power. The item is like an effect, technically, uh, like on the attacking move, where like you go for Earth Power. Um, I switch from my eject button to Moongus. The eject button counts as like a, it says when this Pokemon takes damage, switch me out. Um, Sheer Force says ignore all secondary effects. So it's treated as like a secondary effect oh. of the move. Wait, no, color change is when you get hit. Yeah. Yeah, so like, so, yeah. Like a big one though that I knew from a lot of Gen 7 was Emergency Exit because Needle Queen and Golisopod are very popular. Mm -hmm. So obviously, Golisopod, you know, when it gets under half, it gets forced out. Uh, but if Needle Queen hits it with like Sludge Wave or whatever and gets it under half, it doesn't get forced out. So that was something I had to know. Um, other abilities are Pickpocket, Wimp Out, Berserk. Uh, I don't know why Flame Body and them aren't. Yeah, it feels like Flame Body should, right? It, it but does I feel like it, but I mean, I could I could test it a bunch. Like, yeah, we, we I go Fire Punch a, a yeah. like if Contact interacts differently. But I, I I think that you gave a good answer for the record. Yeah. Like it was a it was a really hard question. And Regardless, someone had to win. Yeah, <laughs> and, and you got <laughs> one well, by one point. To answer the others though. Uh, quick draw is actually thirty percent, and quick claw is twenty percent, so that's forty-four percent um, chance to like move first. The, we literally have probably twenty more questions, but you never know if you want to. If we want to rematch, we can do part two. If you guys are enjoying this, yeah, hey, I definitely. If the viewers, I enjoy, learned a lot. Shoot, yeah, it was nice. Yeah, I'm down. Yeah. It was fun. Got wrecked was, by these easy questions from them. <laughs> and honestly, yeah, you guys seriously. were the perfect people to bring up. You guys are not only super knowledgeable, but great sports, super entertaining, very funny, very kind, too. <laughs> Except for the last one. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to stop him. I'm sorry. You talking. said the answer, to be fair. Like, I, ty I typed off, like, Yeah, yo, you said eject button. I said, yeah, yeah. yo, he got it when he said eject button. But you, yeah. you, the, you actually said an answer a lot of times, but you kept uh, questioning yourself, which... You know, obviously it's hard not to do. Yeah, it but is hard. It is tough. I mean, when you're not logical, it, it's tough. And it's not like our questions are a lot easier in that regard than yours are. We can pull from some random stuff, like oh, the the yeah. orb on Orbito's head is a is a round thing, so it's from a circular bug, whatever. What are you? What, are you, what is sheer force? A secondary thing? You got to know sheer force. You got to know items and abilities. That's it. You yeah. Either, you either memorize it. You either know it. Or you don't. That's it. It's really tough. Uh, yeah, there's a different, completely different dynamic in terms of the yeah. questions and answers. It's just based on, like, honestly, your your interest, I guess, <laughs> and what, yeah. what, what you yeah. want to take out of Pokemon. There's so many yeah. things to take out of Pokemon, and that's why that's why I love Pokemon, honestly. That's fine. There's so Let's much do. to learn in every little corner. Yeah, I learned a lot today. Thank you all. Yeah, thank, thank you guys for thank coming. You, thank you for having us. I appreciate and, it. And for the viewers, of, of course, you check the description. You'll see there are these people's channels. There's literally these are three. Top quality channels, 100%. Uh, everything about them I'd recommend. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys very soon.